Hello friends, I welcome you to my YouTube channel MacPM. So in today's video, we will solve a numerical problem which is based on torsion in shafts. So there are two combined shafts. See, shaft one shaft made of aluminium and one shaft is made of al steel, and these two are of different diameters. So let's read the problem first. A step shaft fixed at the two ends as shown in figure. So this shaft is fixed at two ends at B and at D. Okay. Is subjected to a torque of 300 newton meter. It is subjected to a torque of 300 newton meter here at point C. The larger section is made of the aluminium. This is aluminium, and the smaller one is of steel. Okay. Determine the maximum stresses in the two materials. So we have to find tau max maximum stress in aluminium shaft and in steel shaft. Okay. We have to find this. Gs modulus of rigidity for steel is given at 82 gigapascal, which is equal to 82 into 10 to the power 9 giga means 9 10 to the power 9 newton per meter square, which is equal to 82 into 10 to the power 3 newton per mm square. Similarly, modulus of rigidity in aluminium is. 27 gigapascal which will be equal to 27 into 10 to the power 3 newton per mm square okay similarly torque is t is given as 300 newton per newton meter which can be converted as 300 into 10 to the power 3 newton mm okay so first of all we can find modulus of polar modulus of elasticity sorry sorry i forgot this is polar moment of inertia j for aluminium is equal to pi by 32 d to the power 4 which is for circular cross section so for aluminium cross section is diameter is 40 mm pi by 32 40 for 4 and for so if you will calculate it you will get 80,000 pi mm to the power 4 similarly polar moment of inertia for steel is pi by 32 d to the power 4 here the diameter is 20 so 20 to the power 4 so it will be equal to 5000 pi mm to the power 4 okay now as we know that torsion equation is t by j is equal to tau by r is equal to g theta by l okay so if we consider these two then t by j is equal to g theta by l so theta is theta is equal to t l by g j okay now this these two shafts are in parallel because these two are fixed at uh, these two ends and it is rotated from here torque is applied from here so angle of uh, twist will be same because this material is common in this side left side and right side right side so it will move same distance okay so theta will be same for both the left side and right side theta is equal to tl by gj okay so for left side if you see this this side from a b to c so it will be equal to theta bc will be equal to theta c suppose this is d point at joint theta cd plus theta sorry d is already given here so it is e suppose it is e theta ce plus theta d okay so what is theta bc theta bc is 
TL by GJ. So torque applied here is T, which is th uh, 300 Newton meter. So suppose here resistance opposite in op it is fixed. So in opposite direction we will get opposite torque here. Okay. So suppose this is TD torque at D point, then this torque will be 300 minus TD because both torque will add up to 300 so td plus 300 or you can write that tb plus td is equal to 300 at this point at this point resistance will be equal to apply torque so tb is equal to 300 minus td okay so here torque is 300 minus td here torque is td so theta bc for portion bc for portion bc b to c from here to here we will put this value tl by gj so t is 300 minus td length is 600 this total length is 600 and this is 200 so 600 minus 200 is equal to 400 so 600 minus 200 g is for aluminium so it is meant for aluminium so g a or and j is already we have calculated j a is equal to theta b c is equal to theta c e plus theta d so theta d e is theta c for this portion is t T is TD right side of this portion is TD left side is 300 minus TD so TD into L length of this portion is 200 G is for aluminium because this is still made for this is made from aluminium up to here up to point E and J J is also for aluminium because this is made from aluminium and cross section is of same as of this portion plus theta de theta de is from here to here d so t is td into length is 600 upon g is g of steel into j of steel so if you put the values then you will get 300 minus td into 600 minus 200 this can be written as 400 upon g a what is GA? GA is 27 into 10 to the power 3 already given the question and JA is 80,000 pi we have calculated ok 80,000 pi and this we have put in a Newton meter so if you want to convert in Newton mm then you have to multiply by into 10 to the power 3 is equal to td into 200 upon ga ga is 27 into 10 to the power 3 into ja is 80,000 pi and td you can convert into newton mm 10 to the power 3 plus td td into 600 divided by gs what is modulus of elasticity for rigidity for steel it we have calculated it is given as 82000 newton per mm square into js j for steel we have calculated 5000 pi into for this torque to convert into newton mm 
10 to the power 3 so 10 to the power 3 will be cancelled from here everywhere pi will be also cancel okay if you will calculate this then you will get td is equal to 31.9 into 10 to the power 3 newton mm or 31.9 newton meter you have to just solve this equation okay and if we know that td tb is 300 minus td so it will be 300 minus 31.9 so it will be equal to 268.1 newton meter so this is the torque at point b and d we have already calculated so maximum stress tau max we have to find tau max at these two shafts okay in those two materials so tau max t by j is equal to tau by r so tau is equal to t r by j so for uh, shaft t r is d by 2 and j is pi by 32 d to the power 4 so it can be written as 16 t upon pi d cube okay so for uh, aluminium portion tau aluminium is 16 into torque was 268.1 into 10 to the power 3 divided by pi and d is diameter is 40 40 to the power 3 so it will be equal to 21.3 newton per mm square if you calculate in the steel portion then tau steel is equal to 16 t torque is 31.9 10 to the power 3 upon pi and d was 20 mm dq okay so if you will convert it you will calculate it you will get 20.3 newton per mm square you can also write it as 21.3 mega pascal and 20.3 mega pascal so this is the value of its maximum stress rate developed in the two materials and what we had to find in the question we had to find tau max in aluminium and steel so our problem is solved so i hope you understood this problem how to solve problems like this this is a little bit difficult right so but still if you practice you can easily solve if you understand this problem and if you liked our video then please share and subscribe to our channel if you have any doubt then please ask in the comment section thank you for watching this video